Can a dentist make history? Dr. Robert Swain did in 1961 when he and his colleagues challenged the Yankees to change their segregated housing policy in St. Pete, known then as the capital of spring training. Every spring, white ball players were welcome at the posh Vinoy Hotel, enjoying room service, a pool, and every other amenity. At that time, hotels in St. Pete, including the Vinoy, enforced a whites-only policy. Black players stayed in no-frills boarding houses, one of which was owned by Swain and located in the Deuces, the predominantly black neighborhood centered around 22nd Street. Realizing that housing black ball players was enabling the segregation that he and others were fighting so hard to end, Dr. Swain decided in 1961 to no longer offer lodging to black ball players, forcing teams to reconsider their policies. The buildings that Dr. Swain made a part of baseball history still stand today. Silent reminders that the journey to equality is not yet over.